Are you going to lick your balls while I'm trying to do this? Please don't. <laughs> if someone asked me, what, was it, what does it take to be a successful comedian? Right now, I'd say being funny isn't even in the top five. Maybe not even the... The top 10. I think you got to be pretty savvy with social media. I think you need to be a really good networker. I know people used to hate using that term, but hey, the truth is you got to get people on your side. Um, you got to know how to like edit videos and, and stuff like that. And number one, you got to know how to market yourself. You have to know how to sell yourself. You need to be a hoe and you need to be your best pimp. Are you going to lick your balls while I'm trying to do this? Please don't. <laughs> I mean, it's I, I've been doing comedy for 17 years. I've, I've been opening up for some of my friends who were much more successful than me and just really having amazing shows. Getting a lot of their fans to start following me. But, you know... I just am not a really well-known comedian because I always focused on the funny. So I've been out of work for a little while. Um, and not for like a good reason. I didn't like all of a sudden become successful in another lane and was like, okay, I can take off of work now. I got rear-ended. Uh, I had my daughter in the car with me. Luckily, she was okay because she was in a, a five-point child seat safety harness. Uh, meanwhile, I just had a regular seat belt that I guess is okay for adults, but uh, <laughs> it just, I, I got like really bad whiplash. And so I haven't been able to go to work and I've, I've been using this time to post videos on like to try and make myself productive in some way. And what I found was that when I actually put my mind to it, I can kind of sell myself. It feels cheap. I feel like a little hoe almost, you know, but uh, a hoe, you know, <laughs> Gosh. but uh, uh, it's what you got to do. I mean, uh, the, the goal is, I mean, I moved to a place where I could do, I don't know, maybe work like every other weekend on the road and, you know, kind of afford where I live and be able to fly out and do, I'm kind of, in this weird spot, people asked me years ago what my goal would be, and I used to always say, if I could live within driving distance of Atlanta on like five to ten acres with a pond and a nice double wide, and then just go out and do shows all the time, like that would be my ideal existence. Well, I'm not in Georgia. I'm not in a double wide, and I definitely don't have five acres with a pond, but what I do have is this hot, smoking-ass wife who is smart, and she's successful in her own right, and she's super supportive of me. And I got this daughter who, like, is just extremely smart. I know every parent says their kids are smart, but, like, your kid is dumb compared to my kid. No offense. I'm sure your kid's great, but, like, my kid's just, like, blows me away, man. It's, it's amazing. And she's sweet. You know, so I have this really great family. Uh, we live in a three-bedroom house in the city of Wichita Falls. And I use the term city very loosely here, okay? <laughs> it is uh, 100,000 people, but it's within two hours of Dallas. Uh, and there is a, a, there is a small airport here, but you got to add like $400 to every flight if you fly out of here. It's insane. It's it it's almost like I might as well pay to fly private at this point. I think I don't know or first class. Uh yeah, cuz I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't I don't know how much either one of those are, but I assume it's like $400 more than a regular flight. <laughs> it might be a little bit more than that.